Hello, hello everyone. Yes, hello. This is Mel Mel Cooks. I know it's been a long while. I'm going to make Ningko today. Ningko or Niankao is a sticky cake uh, often seen during Chinese New Year. Uh, there's a myth behind it. It's supposedly um, you know, popular during this festive period to keep the kitchen god's mouth sealed tight um, so there won't be any bad reports about your household. It's a really sticky cake made, made out of glutinous rice flour. Um, I have some raw sugar there and then some um, brown sugar with some gula maraca or uh, palm sugar. Um, then um, here I have uh, three uh, three inch um, metal tins lined with um, banana leaf. Yes, a banana leaf that has been uh, soaked in hot boiling water for 10 minutes, um, clean and wiped dry. And then you form um, a mold, uh, how you say, you wrap your um, aluminum tin and, and then tie it with a string. So let's take a closer look. Here we go, I wrapped it around. Here we go. As many layers of the banana leaf, and I also oiled um, the, both the metal tin first, and also I put oil around on the banana leaves itself. So, yes, guys, so we're gonna make Ninko. I'm so excited. It's my first Ninko ever, homemade Ninko. It's like my favorite. And I only like the really good ones, which are hard to buy from um, supermarkets unless you know someone who makes it themselves. So I'm going to try this um, abbreviated version. It's not the traditional version. I'm going to use my Thermomix to steam the Ninko. So it's going to be a, a you know, a shorter process. And um, I know the traditional ones use uh, white sugar instead of brown sugar and gula malacca. I'm using them for taste and color. And instead of white sugar, I'm going with raw sugar because it's healthier. And this is the glutinous rice flour. Oh, yay! Let's get started on. It's 250 grams of the glutinous rice flour. Ta -da! Okay, we are shaving the gula malacca. Um, I know the Thermomix has sharp blades, but I don't want to dull my blades, so I'm shaving it with a knife before I uh, blend it down further uh, in my Thermomix. Okay, now let's put in our sugar, our raw sugar here. Uh, we are going to turbo it down. So, uh, 60 grams of raw sugar and then we're going to put in our cut, our sliced up gula malacca in as well. Our sliced up gula malacca in it goes. So about 100 grams there. Okay, and now we are going to turbo this sugar mixture, just the, just the gula malacca and the raw sugar. The uh, dark brown sugar is already fine enough, so we don't need to blend that down. So turbo. So we want to go with two seconds, and we're gonna turbo it. So watch. rounds has been done so let's take a peek looks like the raw sugar is not sufficiently blended yet so we're gonna blend it some more okay this time I'm going for one minute um, at a speed of 10 Okay, the one minute's up, uh, let's be 10. Yeah, let's take a look. Yes, this is much better. Okay, it's scraped down. So let's add the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. 
18 grams of brown sugar. And the water is a little warm. Let's make sure we tear this thing to zero. with these molds. When the dough is cooked, we will pour them in and I will steam it. Um, the recipe says 60 to 90 minutes, but I'll just go for two hours as uh, apparently um, the traditional method is like 10 to 12 hours of steaming on low heat. So I'm gonna go for two hours, although it's um, three little molds, three inch size. Okay, it's done. So let's take a peek inside. Alright, this is how this is how it looks like. Yeah, careful with the steam. Okay. Uh, we need to cool it down to 60 before we can move on to the next steps. So I'll be back. Okay, I think it's about cool enough. 55. So let's see in the glutinous flour next. So using this little sieve, sorry, this is the finest sieve that I have and it's a small one so we'll sieve it in and then we'll also add 5 grams of sunflower oil uh, before we mix it. Okay, the flour sifted in. Okay, let's weigh in the oil. The oil is in as well. And then we're going to mix it. Ready now, so let's take a peek. Voila! Alrighty. We don't want to fill it too full, so I think that's good enough. Alright, and I'll continue with the rest. Okay guys, um, this is how it looks like. And we want to cover it um, with a banana leaf or, sa or a baking paper so that water doesn't get into it. Banana leaf here. Cover it like that. Tuck it in later. And then this is my clean bowl. Right? I'm gonna put in some hot boiling hot water. So be careful. So I'm gonna put in one liter or a thousand milliliters. To that marking there a little bit more 
We'll put water. Set it up. I'm gonna tuck this in. I also have a little extra batter remaining, so I just put it on a greased and oiled steaming tray and put it on my Veroma tray to prop it on top. What the setup looks like. And I am gonna have put another banana leaf on top of this so water doesn't go in. Tuck it in. Okay, now I'm gonna put a cup on top. And then we're gonna go for. So let me just do an hour and a half and then we'll go for a steaming temperature of Veroma. And I want a gentle steam, so I'm going to go with speed one. Right. And then for the top here, you might want to get put a tea towel on to trap the steam. It helps as well uh, to prevent the droplets from dripping in. So something like a tea towel, just pop it on. Okay guys, the two hour mark is up. So let's take a look and see. Careful, it's really hot. Steam and all. Is the steam coming out? It's really hot. Okay, there's the top layer. Tell you what, I'll bring it down to my hob so it's a little bit ready. It's placed on my hob so it's a little easier. So, slip it up to the side. Freshly steamed, so they still need to cure for two to five days. But the color is looking great. It's not as smooth, the top is not as smooth as I hoped it to be, but it still looks really good. Oh, I'm so excited! So happy it turned out. It's pretty easy, time consuming, yes. The steaming process does take a while, but oh. It smells really good, has to be the Gula Malacca.